Hello everyone, what is going on? It is your boy of 33 welcoming you to the group stage of the 2021 play-ins of the World Championships. We are going to be deep diving into all three days action in this video. So, without further ado, let us grab them party hats, turn the disco ball and get partying because it's time for a fiesta that no one's going to be stopping. And what better way to kick off this party than with one of our matches of the week as Hanwha Life Esports take on LNG Esports in an LCK and LPL battle in Group A. This one's going to be fun and going to be a big tester for both regions. Third or, sorry, fourth seeds. I forget that you get four for an Asian region you know because they're that goddamn good and so when you see them facing off here in the first game you've got to have a lot of expectations now china did just win msi in the halfway point of this season but before that at worlds 2020 it was korea on top so who which region do i think is going to take the first game I've gone with an LNG win. Gonna be brutally honest, LNG are a very dominant squad. Tarzan absolutely smurfed throughout the entire season. He has been a phenomenal player ever since he joined League of Legends. I'm gonna be brutally honest, he's a goddamn top pro that's just not had the time at Worlds to showcase it. And as such here with LNG, I think that they're gonna do a lot here at this World Championships, and as such, they're going to breeze past their Korean opposition. Now we've got a battle from the American side of the map, as we have the LLA versus the Brazilian League, and Infinity versus Red Kalunga is game two. I always like this matchup when you get to see these two regions face off, as you've got the two areas of America that are underappreciated in terms of firepower. Bear in mind, we had players at last year's World Championships in, say, Jose Diodo popping off on the side of one of these two regions, and as such, when they come into this, you've got to appreciate the star power that's on these lineups. Now, I've not been a big follower of these two regions as a whole. And as such, I've gone and basically flipped a coin as to who I think is going to win. And my prediction is Red Kalunga. Going to be brutally honest, don't know why. I just feel that they're going to do a bit better than Infinity. Though it is a shot in the dark. Now we have LNG returning back to the stage against the PSG of this World Championships. What do I mean by that? Well, the top laner and I do believe the jungler for Peace Gaming cannot make the World Championships. As such, they've had to pull in some replacements in Vizicharchi and someone else, I forget who. But it's from another uh, LCO team. As such, Peace are bringing in some subs. And it's going to be fun to see how they perform here at Worlds. Will they have the same success as PSG? I, for one, don't think they will, considering this is going to be a very hard tournament. And Vizicharchi hasn't played pro for over a year, at least. So he's going to be a bit out of it. I know he's been involved in coaching of the Mad Lions with Arbitz as a strategic position coach but that's not the same as playing at the high level and as such you gotta give them a few hits or misses from time to time and as such when you go against a very strong Chinese squad I don't think you're gonna win as such that's why I've gone with LNG going 2-0 in their group so far. Game 4 sees another team returning to the stage as you see the Hanwha Life Esports Squad take on Infinity. This is gonna be 
where Han might pick up their first game. They need to. You're the Korean rep. Korean reps and Chinese reps always make it out of planes into the group stage. Last year was the first time Europe never made it out. This year will not be the first time one of these two regions makes it out. I'm gonna be blunt. You look at this entire group, you're gonna be seeing probably both of Hamwa and LNG making out of Group A. Group B, we haven't even discussed any games in that group yet, but we'll get to that very soon. Now this matchup, I'm just gonna say it bluntly, Hanwha are winning. I think I said that before, and I don't need to explain why. So we move over to Group B, the Unicorns of Love representing the LCL, and then we have Detonation Focus Me representing the LJL. Two regions that always seem to pop off during Worlds for some reason. Last year, Unicorns of Love's made it into group stages, and Dead Nation Focus Me did go out early on. But they did, however, do some damage to Cloud9, who yet again are in the same group as them. We'll get to that in a bit. Now, this matchup, I've gone with a Unicorn win. They've got pretty much almost the same squad as what they did during the last World Championships, minus Gadget and the bot lane, or I forget who he was partnered with in the support, but it's a different bot lane that's been popping off, I feel, in the LCL, and as such, you got to go with them. In comparison to the LGL classic squad that always makes it to Worlds with pretty much the same players in it, you know, as you do. As such, I've gone with the UOL win and expect probably some spice in this matchup. It's time for Turkey versus the PCS as Beyond Gaming take on Gala Tatsarai. I for one like this matchup. Turkey tend to do well at Worlds and the PCS clearly are doing well at the moment. This year has been a phenomenal year for them as PSG have been the top dogs during their Rain international events coming in fourth or fifth here and there. But this is kind of a change up because you don't normally get to see a second rep from this region up until this year. And it's always nice to see because, in essence, you're getting to see the squads that don't dominate the PCS because PSG always seem to absolutely trounce that league and no one is ever close to him. So it's a good way to judge the strength of the league when you have a second representative at the World Championships. Now, it's not the first time for some of these players coming to Worlds as Doggo returns, and he did very well on that PSG squad, even though he was replaced quite quickly into the World Championships. Now, personally, who do I think is gonna win this matchup? I've gone with a Beyond Gaming win. I just feel that you've got a good chance of seeing them advance out of this group. Though I'm not a big firm favourite for them. And we'll get to the reason why in the next game. And that game is C9 versus Detonation Focus Me. This is usually the telltale game for the North American squad. And yeah, gonna be brutally honest, if they win this, they're definitely winning this group. If they lose this, like I predicted, then that's a good shot for a lot of these teams. Cause group B is kind of the wide open group. It's expected C9 make it out and possibly the unicorns with them. But for Group A, it's a bit more, yeah, it's always going to be LNG and Hanwha Life. There's no big major region other than them two in that league. So yeah, you kind of expect that. This group, it's a lot closer. There's a lot more contention for the top spot. And as such, if DFM beats C9, that blows this group out of the roof. The final game of day one sees the Unicorns of Love taking on Galatasaray. This is kind of a European battle as the LCL takes on the Turkish League. 
yeah, this could be considered a European battle. One that we all like. Why am I stalling? It's a unicorn twin. I like this matchup. It's close. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, there's no other prediction than a unicorn twin. Let's kick off day number two with Peace and Hanwha Life Gaming. This is gonna be fun because you've got the Aussie squad who always brings some fun to the rift against the Korean squad who's out for dominance. It's Chovy time, as I wanna call it. <laughs> and yeah, let's just say this game is gonna be funny. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a Hanwan win. And I personally don't think that Peace have a chance. Though I will be interested in the Vizicharchi top lane matchup because that's the only thing Peace has got going for them, in my opinion, as a European fan. As such, HLE are picking up this game. Next up, it's Red versus LNG. I forgot Red's full title, so I'm just calling him Red. It's easier. <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of see where I'm going because I've predicted LNG winning. And I think I've already said it in this video. I've gone with the Korean and Chinese teams going perfect during the group stage. There's nothing more that needs to be said. And as such, let's mercy on into the next game. We're gonna bring the tone down for this one. Let's be stake on infinity. Why am I bringing the tone down? Well, I think peace are gonna win. You know that I hate myself for doing this, and that's why I've gone with the peace win. I hate myself, so I go with the peace win. This is staying in the video. HLE versus RED, it's Red versus Hanwha Life Gaming. Yeah, I've learnt how to say that name now, and yeah. I need to learn that name because I predicted them winning again and making it into knockout stages. You know, as you do, beating everyone in your group, going zero, I mean, perfect. Even though I actually predicted them losing to LNG, but shh, Chovy's gonna carry and death. You know, as a professional Korean player will. And yeah, let's move over to the next game after a HLE prediction win. Beyond Gaming and C9 kick off Rupee's action on day number two. And yeah, this is a good tester. It's PSG, obviously the winners of the PCS, the same region Beyond's from, have done very well in the past against C9. And as such, this matchup kind of tells you the strength of that region, as the second seed gets to take on a main region's third seed, and I for one cannot wait to see this. So, who have I gone with in this matchup? Uh, yeah, it's not beyond. I am beyond belief of them winning this matchup, I, that's for damn sure, I've gone with the team that's going to be on Cloud9. And it's going to be a perk show. He's going to be a bit nutty at this World Championships, like he usually is. And as such, that's why C9 will win. So my notes currently say nothing for this matchup, and I haven't actually predicted a winner, but we've got Galatasaray versus Dead Nation Focus Me. Yeah. I'm unsure of who's going to win, but I'm going to go with my gut intuition and say DFM. As I'm swaying around side to side, you can probably tell as my voice goes whizzing over to the other ear. This is me trying to think. And thinking about this, I want to say DFM. DFM obviously have the prowess and the squad that's made it to Worlds before in comparison to Galatasaray. I'm not too sure of the players on the Galatasaray roster. And considering that, you have to go with the LJL. I'm always a big supporter of the Japanese, 
and yeah, this is me sticking to my guts and saying DFM win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell who I think is going to win this matchup? Yeah, it's the Unicorns of Love here as my prediction against the team from the PCS, I remember it being called. Yep, this is two regions that I would say... Uh, see, my take on the Unicorns of Love has soured since the World Championships last year. And that's a big thing to note, because that was when they had Gadget. He brought the spice to the squad that allowed him to progress into the group stages. And here, I'm not too sure on this lineup. And yeah, they win their region every time. They went to MSI. They bombed MSI. And that's a big thing to note. But here, will we see the strength that's needed to progress into the group stages yet again? I'm not too sure. And when you go up against Beyond, who are the second team from the PCS. Ah, that's going to be a hard task. And it's a good end. Because this will be one of the tougher teams to face in Group B. Even though I pretty much said everyone is a tough test for everyone in Group B before. So, yeah. Just buckle up and predictions might be wrong for most of Group B. Who knows, as we go into our last game on day number two. Ah, uh, it's good to be back with the faded screen. Because let's be honest, dark mode is better than light mode. And why do I say that? Well, we're at the second Anarchy Analysis matchup of the week. C9 versus Galatasaray. Yeah, I wanted to cover at least one C9 match. And yeah, I didn't want to do DFM or Unicorns of Love yet again, so that puts a sample size of Beyond or Galatasaray. And well, considering I never really covered the Turkish League, this is going to be me taking a stab at a region I have no clue about. That being said, C9 are my prediction to win. Let's be honest, you've got perks in that squad, Zven. He's been picking up form, I'll be honest, at the start of the year, I think he was subbed out. Remember King playing for C9? Yeah, and then he ended up in the starting lineup, as men did, back once again. And yeah, I'm now rambling on as, obviously I've got a C9 prediction to win. They're just gonna have to deal with the squad from Turkey and not do a mad lion. <laughs> oh well, let's move on to day number three. Well, the first two days have featured eight games taking us up to 16. We're down to only four for day number three as LNG versus Infinity kicks off our action. Yeah, I, I don't need to explain matches with the Korean and Chinese squad. I've gone with the squad that's from the LPL, LNG, winning this matchup. We've covered them in a recent video. They're pretty goddamn good. They fight to the death. They do not give up. And Infinity, your look at this World Championship is going to be minus Infinity. Because you're never going to pick up a win here. That's my honest uh, thoughts. And as such, I have gone with the LNG win. As I have the team up on my screen, it's Rekalunga representing the CB LOL, taking on Peace Gaming from the LCO. I had to put on LOL Esports to find out the actual full name of Red. I've been calling him Red all day. It's a separate code to day number one. Who knew? As such, Let's discuss this matchup. Personally, I think this is where Brazil pick up a game. I don't know why, I just think they will. It's sad to say that I have no reason why. I just like certain regions facing off against each other because it provides such hypeness. 
such crazy things and at this stage you're on your last game of the tourney for some of these teams you could see some unique things here could see a Teemo could see a Zed Be bring the spirit of Pentanet to this championships like everyone knows and loves because everyone loves Pentanet now with that said let's move over to our second to last game of the group stage these have been quite heavy ramblings during this video so far, so let's keep this one short and sweet. DFM versus BYG. DFM win. Now it's time to sit back, relax with NA versus an EU-esque region as it's C9 versus the Unicorns of Love. You won't be hearing the trotting for this one as the horsies are gonna get slain. They're not even horsies, they're unicorns. Haha! <laughs> Fun, but C9 win, let's be honest. I just think that Perks, as the EU player he is, as Ven, the EU player he is, they're just gonna slay this team and just decimate them. They're just gonna get blown out of the ocean. And the horsies will not be charging forward no more as they get given the L. In that last game of the toy. Now I can officially end this video off, but before we do, I'm just gonna say right now, the Eliminator series will not be put in a video. They will be instead going on to my Twitter at Izzle33 that you're seeing on screen. I know me putting my Twitter on a video is always unique, and as such, I think this is where we end this video off. If you enjoyed this part, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new on here if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.